Deontay Sagar on the outside. Yellow. So handful closest to camera. as I've said on multiple occasions. Greg, Greg went from gate one. He tried to go high that time, but probably couldn't get us. Johnson, the sweep on the outside. Let's go racing in heat 16. Hancock got a flyer from the inside, the American. Let's see what transpires here. Zagar onto the back straight away in second. Third, the Swede, Andreas Johnson. But Hancock, he's twisting the throttle. And the boat rockets down the main straight. He's a clear-cut leader. He's out to about six bike lengths now. This is better, Greg. This is better. Yeah, great start. He was so he was clear enough in the first turn that he didn't have to worry about where the other riders were going to go. Here comes Andreas up the inside of Zagar. Yeah, Jonsson gets into second place, but Zagar fights back on the inside. Great run, and Andreas is back up the inside again. Zagar's gone wide, probably a little bit too wide. Tremendous battle here for second place. Hancock has checked out. The American says, catch me if you can, fellas. Johnson in second. And Zagar's coming back again. They're tight. Zagar's got him. Johnson's going back again on the inside. Yellow flag's been shown. What about this battle we're focusing oh. on? Hancock's gone. Zagar in second. Johnson's all over his exhaust pipe. The run to the checkered flag and This year, AJ Andreas Jonsson, another pick from the organisers in the second race of the night. Waiting for the green light. Tate tries, who's going to hit that first turn? Hancock's made a good one off the inside gate. Super move from Greg Hancock. Jonsson now is going to try and coming through in blue as well. That's a good ride from Zagar and Wuffington's been squeezed out on the back. Hancock has that lead. Now Zagar around the outside. Here he comes in blue. Super ride from the slipper. Oh. Yeah, the wheel to wheel. Tight right. speedway here. Fantastic speedway there. Hancock responds and makes it hard work for Zagar. Momentarily, Zagar must have felt that he was going to steal the lead away from the American, but the American responded brilliantly. He's out in front. Zagar charging hard. Johnson sells in third place. Wolfenden spun up on the start, didn't get to the first corner, and is trailing at the back. Once again, the form not quite there. But so Greg Hancock. This is more like it from him. He really was determined there because he had a lot of pressure from Zagar. Yep, into the final lap of heat number two, and this is a masterclass from Greg Hancock, who had a nightmare early on in Auckland. Yeah. But he's got it right from the start here in Pickosh, all right. Greg, Herbie, Hancock, twice world champion, gets here with three points from that win, two last places, and Chris Harris going off the outside in yellow. Now, there's been extensive track grading, as there is during every interval. Yeah. It'll be interesting to hear. Heat number 13, the green light is on and away from the start, going into that first turn. It's a good ride from Holder, and now Harris tries the inside, but Matty Zegar holds the line quite beautifully, and down the back straight, here come the Australians. My goodness, this is tough speedway. Chris Holder in blue, Troy Batchelor in white, Matty Zegar is in red, and Chris Harris at the back, and Zegar is putting pressure on Batchelor now. But Chris Holder looking good, looking sharp, and well and truly back to his best. Yeah, really big effort there from Chris Holder. All of a sudden, the racing line is a little bit narrower where they've got graded the track. Zagar now beginning to put pressure on. Troy Batchelor in second place with Harris at the back, but it's not all over for Harris. Look how tight that is. 
really tight down the back straight between second and third. Holder deserves a race win tonight. He's worked really hard. Tight out of the last corner. One lap to go. Back to Luis Zagar. Zagar running wide in that uh, first corner for the last time. Down the back straight, Chris Holder has got the race under control. Three big points coming up for him. Zegar's going to try and switch the inside line now, but Bachelor. Oh! oh Zegar's picked him up. Fabulous move Bust for the boys off the inside two, off the uh, middle two gates. I don't know what to expect. This is heat number 18 here of the European Speedway Grand Prix in Vidgosh. Now, Ward has made a decent start from the outside. It's going to go high into the dirt. Has got the drive. Lindgren is the man in blue. Challenging up front here in the heat number 18. And now Lindgren's gone to the back. Can you believe that? He's going to try the inside switch now, Freddie Lindgren, to come through into second as past Everson has returned the confidence. Onto the back and yes. Zegar is in second place. But Darcy Ward, well, he's missing all the drama. He's got the race well and truly under control. Yeah, he has. He's out in front and uh, that's where I enjoy being and that's certainly where he is enjoying being. Look at the race on the back. Real good action there between Everson and Lindgren, that's for sure, with Zagar now beginning to hang on to second place. Ward's clear. He's comfortable out in front and there's a real battle just for the last point. Everson should be okay there because that'll put him on nine. That'll see him through. Zagar hanging on but it's tight. Lap to go Nigel. Plenty of racing here. Can Zagar hang on to second place? Because Everson looks oh. really threatening. Not a lot of racing room there. So close to the back wheel of Zagar. Ward has got the race in the belt. No problem at all. Second place, Zagar. Oh. And now here comes Everson. Oh. Oh. Goodness. Matty Zegar going off the inside then, the Slovenian, gate two is Pedersen, who we've just discussed on uh, the blue helmet colour. Kako Neiman and gate three in white, and Eunice Kilnagorpi uh, going off the house parents. Well known in the UK with the Eastbourne Eagles, who race at the Arlington Stadium tonight without him. Heat number two, here we go, second time of asking, they're away this time. Zegar with a good one off the inside gate, takes Pedersen out wide, that allows the switch from Kilmacorpi in yellow, Niemann's on the pace and here comes Nicky Pedersen into third. The lead though is with Matty Zegar, Kilmacorpi is second, Nicky Pedersen now, oh! almost collects Kilmacorpi in front of him and Niemann's at the back, but what a start from the Super Slovenian, Matty Zegar in red. Yeah, he did. He pushed uh, Nicky Pedersen wide in the first corner, Zagar, and that opened the door for Gilmacorpi, who then charged in the second place. But I'm going to say Pedersen's trying hard, but you can't move off the line because it's slick and you go backwards. A little bit frustrating for riders where there's not a lot of racing room. And you can see that Pedersen's got speed in third place, but he's finding it hard to figure out a way to get the better of Gilmacorpi in second place. Zagar, though, he's comfortable out in front. The Slovenian looking good. Fired out of the inside, looks like he's going to pick up a heat win. Pedersen is giving it everything, he's got some speed in that motor for sure. Down the back straight, Pedersen is in third place, we see the leader Zegar. It's going to be one big swoop now from Pedersen, but I think Kilmacorpi has done enough. The lead is with Zegar, he's going to win the race, Kilmacorpi second. Nicky Pedersen. Really good looking liner. Very much so, heat number 10 it is then. Darcy Ward off the inside with three points to his name. Matej Zegar goes off gate number two in blue. Freddie Lindgren, gate three in white. Yarrick, heat number 10 it is then. The tape drives, and who is going to get into that first turn? Zegar's made a good one. Look at that from Hampel, and Zegar goes square. Ward's gone square as, square as well in that first turn. And Zegar now comes up the inside of Darcy Ward, who's relegated to third place right now. Ward is going to switch. The lead is with Hampel, that's clear. And now Zegar is second with uh, Darcy Ward trying absolutely everything now. The inside line, can he take Zegar wide? Oh, oh, almost loses it. Very much so, it's a tough tussle there for second place. Zegar leaving the door open there for Ward, keeps running wide, Ward pushing hard in third place. And Paul, as he so often does, Oh, oh my goodness, how on earth did Ward miss the back of Zegar? Trying so hard, he's so frustrated to try and make a move on the Slovenian in second place. Hampel's out in front, turning his night around. Yeah, Hampel going into the final lap of heat number 10, looking good here. And you say turning the night around. Oh, oh Lindgren's off. Lindgren's gone down as well. And we're into the last lap, so I'm sure the referee will allow the race to be completed because you can't have any re uh, awarded races, of course, in FIM rules. And the win is for Yarrick Hampel as well. Heat the, here we go. Line is on, it's a light draw, and it's a great start from the inside gate of Martin Smolinski. But what about Zegar? Round the outside, Matty Zegar goes. Smolinski is second, 
third place here in the white helmet colour is Andreas Johnson and Chris Harris trailing at the back now, but that was a great ride from Zegar from the outside gate. Smolinski second, Johnson's having a go, but Smolinski holds second spot now. Yeah, certainly a super first corner from Zegar from the outside, looks good out in front. I thought for a moment that Smolinski was actually going to get there and uh, from the inside, but Zegar uses that outside run and swoops across. Smolinski working hard in second place. Andres Johnson back in third, a little bit uncomfortable in the previous lap. Zegar controlling things and Harris out the back, a little bit tailed off, but the Slovenian Zegar, who hasn't really been at the top of his game in the previous two Grand Prix, this is much more like it. Came into the race on six points, is going to move nicely on to nine and into the semi finals. Yeah, riding quite beautifully. We know what a world class performer he is, Matty Zegar. He's going wide and getting the drive, coming out of turn four for the final time. Zegar wins the race. Side in red after starting with a couple of last places, has turned his night around magnificently. Martin Smolinski, the German, going off gate number two in blue. What a fairy tale start to life in the GP and speed for Smolly. Matty Zegar, gate three in white. Semi finals. The German, well, he's been super too. He will join Wolfenden and Lindgren in the final here in Tempere. What a start from Greg Hancock off the inside game, and Smolinski's trying the inside line here in blue. Smol oh, and Hancock gets some drive, and Zegar. Zegar comes through. Matty Zegar picks up the drive and uh, blasts his way past Martin Smolinski, who's coming back for more, and Chris Holder is going to miss out. He's in the back here. What a ride from Greg Hancock, and the track once again playing its part here, Kel. Yeah, really difficult coming out of turn two. Holder's pulled up at the back, he really isn't enjoying it at all. Certainly Hancock is, he was away from the inside. Zago and Hancock almost at the same time lifted violently on the early part of the race. Hancock out in front, Zago pushing hard in second place, and the German Smolinski out of gate two, that was tough for him. He's riding hard in third place. But with just over a lap to go, the American looking like it's going to win his fourth consecutive race. This will put Hancock one point off the series lead. Holder is not going to catch Kasperzak tonight. He's out with a last place in the semi-final here. But Greg Hancock, you have to take your hat off to the American legend. It's a magnificent achievement for Hancock to get this round. Freddie Lindgren goes off gate number two in the blue helmet colour. Only one Grand Prix win in his career. Great night for him. Ty Woffenden, gate three in white, the reigning world champion. And Matty Zegar go, go anyway here, this wide open. Here we go for the grand final here in Tampere. And Hancock spun up at the start. Woffenden has got a beauty off gate number three. Here comes Zegar around the outside. Now Lindgren's going to try the inside. Zegar's got speed, but Woffenden has the lead. Ty Woffenden then with the lead here. The reigning champion is going to come under pressure. Lindgren really working Zegar hard. And Hancock is at the back. But Ty Woffenden is the leader of the final. And here comes Zegar. Zegar looking really fast in second place. It was tough. Touch and go through the first corner on the opening lap, Woffenden just getting out of shape a little bit, and Zagor was there ready to pounce. Hancock's out the back, as in Bidgosh, just missing out in the big final. Doesn't look like he's going to get on the roster here this evening, but Woffenden out in front. Zagor looks fast, really fast. Blasting around the outside, the champion's out of shape. Zagor hits the front. Brilliant ride from the Slovenian. Well, we said all last season that Zegar has got what it takes to win a Grand Prix, and Zegar has taken full advantage, and here he comes into turn three and four. It's a special moment in the career of the man from Slovenia who rides for the Bellevue Aces, Matti Zegar, takes a victory here in Finland, gets the better of the reigning champion, Ty Woffenden. Lindgren was third, Hancock at the back, but that is a precious moment for Matti Zegar. Two Right, Nigel, I tell you what, I thought that Woofenden had that in the bag, and then suddenly out of nowhere, Woofenden got all out of shape through turns three and four, halfway through the race. Zagar was looking really strong, Zagar had all the speed, he was in the right place at the right time. Absolutely overjoyed. It's been a difficult night, but uh, he's won his first Grand Prix in uh, pretty spectacular style. Coming from behind, how on earth Woofenden stayed onto the motorbike there when he was through the first and third and fourth corner was remarkable. But Zagar, the winner tonight. And Hancock's last place there means that Christoph Kasperzak, who hasn't ridden tonight, still leads the World Championship. Remarkable scenes here. Yeah, absolutely.